Hey guys, welcome back to another Christmas tutorial. You're looking at what I chose to do today, and we are going to be doing a yarnspirations.com uh, video. And you will be using a sugar and cream yarn, and we will be doing this fun, fun, fun reindeer dishcloth. Uh, I had some requests for this, and I wanted to do something really, really fun, and this is it. So what we're going to be using is a... A, uh, you can use whatever colors you want as I've always said so you will need a type of color which is red for the nose you will use a brown a dark brown if you choose for the antlers the eyes and the mouth and then just a tan of some sort for the ears and the head um, so um, just get yourself three assorted colors and um, it says to use an F which is a 3.75 millimeter hook I'm going to use a 4. I don't tend to like to use anything smaller than a 4 on projects like this. So use whatever size you would like. Um, if you use anything bigger than recommended 3.75, it will be bigger than what they call for, which is an 8 inch um, project. Uh, so just keep in mind if you use bigger than the 3.75, it will be bigger than an 8 inch uh, dishcloth. Dish okay? So basically, you want to get your three colors, if you choose to use three different colors, and um, get your hook size, and I will meet you back up. And make sure you pull this project up on yarnspirations.com, okay? Follow along with me. It is called the Reindeer Dish Cloth. Um, all I did was type in reindeer in the search bar, and it came up just fine, or you can type in reindeer dish cloth, either way you choose. And let's get started with this fun project for today. And I'll meet you back up once you get your items ready to go. Alright guys, you've seen my color choices here. I am actually going to do a little bit different color choices. I wanted to add a little spunk to my reindeer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make his um, head dark brown. I'm going to do his antlers a cream like an oatmeal and it's got a little bit of um like a little bit of a burnt orange an olive green and a brown this shade in it so I'm, this is going to be his antlers and then of course i'm going to do his nose the um like a sienna type red or crimson red whatever you want to call it so this is going to be his nose okay so he's going to have a darker face and then i will probably do his eyes um a, a lighter tan i'll have to get that or else i'll do them this color we'll wait and see Okay, so we're going to put all that aside, and you'll need a yarn needle as well. So I will be starting off here with my brown. So um, as I said, I will be using a 4 millimeter hook to do my project. So you want to start off with your slip knot on your hook. And let me scooch in a bit here. And what you're going to do with whatever color you choose to start with, is you want to chain up two. Now you're going to do six single crochet in the second chain from your hook, which is not much different than most projects we do like this, starting off. So you want to do six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five and six so you're just working around and then all you're going to do is join with a slip stitch into that first one and usually when you're working with sugar and cream yarns all this cotton yarn it's a little tough to get started all right so that is round one round two you want to just chain up one and you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around so you're just basically for this project you're going to be increasing for a little bit okay so you want to do two single crochet in each stitch around um, so do two in the first and uh, if you're doing two in each of these stitches you're doubling your stitch count so if you started off with two or I'm sorry six you're going to end up with twelve at the end of this round Okay, so you're just going to go around, put two in each stitch. You don't have to be super si uh, tight about this. Uh, the tighter you work these stitches, uh, the harder it's going to be on you. 
You don't want them super loose, but you don't want them super tight because it gets harder um, with these stitches if you do them really, really tight. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now you want to join up here in that beginning stitch. We can pull through and through. So now you should have 12. And if you want to flip that over and cut that beginning tail off, we'll get that out of the way. So you should have a total of 12 for this round. Round three is you're going to chain up one and you're going to do one single crochet into that same stitch that we're in where we joined up. So there's your one. And then you're going to do two in the next. And this is basic increasing. So you're doing two in this stitch. One in the next. Two in the next. And you do this all the way around. So you should know how to do basic increasing. So you just do this around. One in the next two in the next. And if you're not familiar with basic increasing, you can go back and review those videos in my stitch playlist and look up uh, increasing rounds before you continue. Okay, so two in the next. And then one. And two. My handle sliding off. I knew there was a problem. My, st <laughs> my hook was getting longer and I could figure out why. Okay, one and the next. <laughs> it's funny. No laughing over there. All right, so if you know, one way to know if you're doing your increasing correctly is in that last stitch, it should be an increase. Okay, and I think I'm going to have to find me a different uh, hook because the handle's not staying on. Okay, so that last stitch is going to be an increase, okay? So you'll have two stitches in that last stitch, and for this round you'll have a total of 18 stitches. So you want to join up here with a slip stitch. All right, so at the end of round three you want to have 18 stitches, and I'm going to find myself another four millimeter hook, and I'll be back with you for round four. Alright guys, round four, I have myself a new hook, so I think we're ready to go now. So round four is you're going to chain up one, alright, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a two single crochet into the same stitch here, okay? And then you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. So one and two, and then you'll do two in the next. So one and two. Okay, so you'll repeat that pattern. So one in each of the next two, and then two in the next. So you'll increase every third stitch. So we'll do one and then one and then two. One, one, and then two. One, one, and then two. And then where patterns specify if they uh, change it up where they don't want you to increase on that very last stitch they will tell you and right here they're telling you on round four to do a single crochet in the last two only all right so you may want to count your stitches at this point you should have a total of 24 so let's do that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four so let's join that up there with a slip stitch 
and that is what you have for round four. All right, now round five, you will chain up one and you will do a single crochet right into that same stitch. All right, and you will do two single crochet into the next. And then you'll do one into each of the next three. So one, two, and three. And you will repeat that. So you will do two in the next, and then one in each of the next three. One, two, and three. So you're only increasing in every fourth stitch. All right, so singles, here we go, one, two, and three, and now your increase in the fourth. And then back to your three singles, so one, two, and three. And then you just start over, and you just keep doing this all the way around. So your increase is right there, and then you will do your three singles. Okay, and then your increase, or I'm sorry, your uh, three singles right there is what we were doing. And then what you'll need to do is a um, increase here, and then you will do a single in the last two stitches. Alright, so round five at the end, you want to make sure you have 30 stitches. And that's the end of round five. Alright guys, round six, we are going to chain up one. And you're going to do two single crochet right into the same space again. Okay, and now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next four. One, two, three, and four. And then you do two in the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that. So then we do our four singles in a row. One, two, three, and four. Then two, uh, our increase, I'm sorry. And then four singles. One, two, three, and four. Then our increase. And then our four singles again. Increase. And then four singles. Then our increase. And then you should have four left, so you will want to do four singles. One, two, three, and four. And then you'll join. And at the end of round six, you should have a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six. Alrighty, I'm up to thirty six. So I will meet you back for round seven. Okay, round seven. Let's chain up one again. And let's do a single crochet here as well. 
and now you're going to do a single crochet into the first two. You will do an increase in the next stitch and then a single in each of the next three. And that is going to be your repetitive pattern. So we'll start that again with a single in the next two. Increase in the next. And singles in the next three. Okay, so again, one in the next two. I got a straggler there, don't I? Increase in the next. My yarn's coming on uh, done here on me. I have to fix that. All right, so that was an increase. Now one into the next three. I'm just going to have to work around that. Okay, and then you just start that over, one in the next two, increase, and then one into the next three. One in the next two. Increase. One into the next three. Now what that needs to do is leave you five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And what we're going to do here is according to the pattern you should have five stitches left. And what you're going to do is single crochet into the next two. So one two, increase in the next, and single crochet in the last two. And that will finish you up on that round. And that should leave you a total of 42. And I'll have to cut those little things there off. My yarn kind of unwound on me a bit. Okay, so you'll want to make sure that you have 42 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. All right, so that's 42. Now round eight, we will chain up one and we'll do one single crochet into that same stitch. Now round eight is going to change things up a bit. Um, you want to do a single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to do this next pattern is going to be repeated three times. So starting with two single crochet into the next stitch. So there's one and two and then six singles in a row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now that's your repetitive pattern here. That's once. You're going to do it twice more. So let's do our increase here for our second time. And now let's do our six singles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's twice. Now let's do our third time. So this is your increase stitch. And now your six singles for the last time. So one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. And now let's do the last increase. So put two in that stitch. All right, so then you want to do a single crochet into the next two. So one and two. All right, so now the next step, this next pattern you will repeat a total of five times. The pattern is going to be two half doubles in the next and one in each of the next two. So this next stitch gets two half double crochet and then you're going to do a half double crochet in each of the next two. So you're going to repeat that pattern five times. So two in the next, one in the next, one in the next. So this was once. So let's do it again for the second time. So two half doubles in this one, one in the next, one in the next. That's your pattern. So that's twice. Let's do it a third time. Okay, let's do it a fourth time. And a fifth time. Alright. So now that you've done it a fifth time, you're going to do two half double crochets in that very last stitch. And then you're going to join. Alright, and then I'll let you count those off camera. You should have a total of 52 stitches at the end of round 8. Alright, we are on round 9. So what we're going to do now is chain up one and do a single crochet into that same stitch. Round 9 is very similar to round 8 so let's do a single crochet in each of the next two. One, two. So your, our pattern of working three times around is going to be two single crochet in the next and one single crochet in each of the next seven. So let's do two single crochet in the next Okay, and now we're going to do seven single crochet in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so we're going to do that for a second time. So two singles in the next. And then seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Increase here for our third time on this pattern. And now our seven singles one two three four five six and seven now you want to do two single crochet in the next One, two, and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. Now a half double crochet in the next. and then two half doubles in the next. OK, 
Okay. And now we're going to do this next pattern a total of seven times. So you're going to do a double crochet in the next, two in the next, one in the next, two in the next. So you're going to do that seven times. Okay. So I'm going to do my counting and you're going to do your counting. Okay. So it's going to be one double crochet, then two, one double crochet, then two. So do it a total of seven times. So here we go. One double crochet and then two. Okay. So this is one. Three, and four. Five. Six, and seven. Okay, so after you've done that a total of seven times, you're going to do two half double crochet in the next. one half double crochet in the next and a single crochet into the last two so one and two then you will join up you will have a total of 65 stitches for round nine and we'll be back for round ten all right, round 10, we'll chain up one and we'll single crochet in the same space as we have been. And you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And now we're going to do this next pattern three times. So two single crochet in the next. and one single crochet in the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's once, so now you're gonna increase here. This is gonna be our second time. Now do your eight singles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is our third. So increase and do your eight singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and you're going to do one in each of the next six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you need to half double crochet in the next and two in the next. So one in the next stitch and two half doubles in the next. Okay. And now this next pattern is going to be done seven times. So you're going to do one double crochet 
in the next two and then two in the next. So you're going to do two double crochet, which means you're going to do one double, uh, one double, and then you're going to do two in the next. So double, double, and then two doubles. Double, double, two doubles. Double, double, two doubles. You're going to do that seven times. So you're going to have to count on your own um, as I'm counting on my own. Okay, so you're going to do it seven times. Okay, so here we go. So here's one. Two, three, four. Six, and seven. Okay, so that's my set of seven. And now you're going to do two half doubles in the next. And then one half double in the next. And then you're going to do one single crochet in each of the last two. And then you'll join. Okay. And so far, this is what we have at the end of round 10.